Arrow, what's going on? What's going on? Hey, I'm actually just going to stand up here and ramble today. I honestly got no notes. I thought, might as well. Unfortunately, you know, I've been here three times. I, I see a lot of familiar faces. Uh, I like uh, talking with Ruger and, and, and this guy. I'm not good with names, but I remember you. And uh, I, 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 I'm I starting the bowling league on Fridays. And so, I'm, unfortunately, we will not be here anymore. But I will take a sub every once in a while to come back here and make a new stupid go. Oh, yeah. So, uh, I will miss this place. Uh, I had a lot of laughs. Got a lot of new friends here, so I'll remember you guys. Um, I, I'm i an emotional guy. I don't, I've never shared that with you. That's why I talk about my daughter up here on stage. But uh, I do have a four-year-old. Uh, I've never held a baby for more than two minutes my entire life before I had a daughter and I actually freaked out when my wife was in the C-section. I looked at the doctor and I, while he was showing her back up, my kid was on the table. And I said, Doc, you wouldn't have to have an instruction manual in that womb, would you? So I said, no, you just got to use common sense. So, I, uh, uh, let's see. I was in a comedy competition uh, last week and it didn't end well. And one of the judges came up to me and said, Son, I, I know you tried your best, but you just didn't finish strong enough. We had to use the next guy. And I said, well, that's all right. At least my wife didn't tell me that. <laughs> uh, uh, got an S-10 pickup at my grandma's house that we used to take on gravel roads and up and down really bumpy grass roads and, and there's a road right by my grandma's house. You get that going full speed, you can be bouncing up and down and I had a pair of titties bouncing up and down that one time in that in that cab. Guys in that same study. It does. <laughs> it wasn't it was actually just a fat guy that uh, bro. <laughs> I I've never been up here without notes, but I thought I'd just kind of get up here and ramble, so I'm just kind of seeing where this goes. Um, speaking about my daughter again, when we were on our, uh, doing the ultrasound, uh, and he said, well, we don't know what the baby's going to be yet. And I said, well, I think I got an idea. I think it's going to be a boy. And he said, well, what makes you think so? And I said, well, look at that between his legs. It's pretty big right there. And he said, son, that's the umbilical cord. <laughs> But I, I do got to tell you this one story about my mother-in-law. She swore, we don't get along, so I like to tease her. But she swore up and down we was going to have a boy. And we ended up having a girl. And so I was so excited, I called my mother-in-law when we found out we was having a girl. And I said, Mom, I got bad news about your grandson. And she said, oh my God, what, what happened? I said, his penis fell off. <laughs> My counselor said I need to be nice to my mother-in-law. Uh, we don't get along, we really don't, but I do love her with all my heart. And I want you all to know that I'm a really good guy. I, I flew her out to the Bahamas uh, so that she can enjoy a nice vacation. Uh, prices are really expensive. I got her a one-way ticket. <laughs> I might go get her next year, I don't know. Uh, uh, we had trouble with her pastor at church. He had actually skipped church to go golfing. And we had we had thought this was gonna happen, and so somebody at church had hired a deacon and me to go follow him to see where he was actually going when he called in sick. And he actually went to the golf course. My pastor skipped church to go to the golf course. But we didn't tell anybody about it because when he was there, and he had, we had heard all these golf stories about how good he was. Well, he had hit an eagle while he was there. And the deacon that went with me, he was so mad, he said, why would God grant him such a good golf game? And I said, you know what, it can't be too bad, because who's he going to tell? <laughs> uh, I got one more church thing for you. Uh, when my pastor was gone, I did a sermon for our church. And when I went down to sit uh, with my uncle during prayer time, I seen this beautiful woman on the side of the pew, and I said, I whispered to my uncle and I said, man, look at that hot woman on the side. If I was, if I was her, I'd be all over me in a heartbeat. And he looked at me and said, man, if I was you, I'd shut your microphone off. 
That's the last one that I got. You guys have been great. Thanks for uh, thanks for all the laughs. You guys want me to come back and do some more jokes later on? Or? Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm going to like that. So until then, God bless you all and, and have a safe weekend. Thank you. Thank you.